then. So back in the old uh, bedroom for some more movies. I'm going to grab my little chair because I can't kneel down. My little Greek chair that I nicked off off me mate. So yeah, I'm back in. Got the old salt lamp on in here. So I'm going to start off on this shelf. Got some blue undergrounds here. So we've got torso. I know this is out on other companies now, and there's I think there's four Ks out now. Living Dead at Manchester Morgue, which I've also got the sign up, so that'll probably go on the for sale pile. House by a cemetery, which I upgraded to 4K. Again, you know, one that I'll have to get shot off. <clears throat> Eugenie, this is the two disco, Jess Franco CD and everything on there. Night Train Murders, Maniac Cop 2, Maniac Cop 3, Maniac, which I've got on 4K, again, just, you know, I've also got the Anchor Bay tin now, so there's going to be some that's going to have to fall by the wayside here, Strip Nude for Your Killer, love this. Nice sleazy little gem. Django, which I've upgraded on 4K. Um, so yeah, just, again, I hate to say it, a bullet for the general, two disco. Vigilante. Hell of the Living Dead and Rats, Night of Terror. Great double feature quality on this one is absolutely outstanding to be honest New York Ripper yes I know it's out on 4k but there you go zombie which I've upgraded on 4k and uh, yeah it's just I will have to get rid of some of these like I said love camp 7 Nazi exploitation if you like it the asphyx which has got two different versions on there highly recommend this film really Really cool little British movie. Still holds up today. I think it's a great film. <clears throat> Living Dead Girl, John Rowling. Not too keen on John Rowling. Um, I've literally got this and Grapes of Death. I just think they're just a bit too arty farty for my liking. And they, there you go, Grapes of Death. The, the, the gorier one, shall I say. Um, Killer's Moon. The awful doc, Dr. Orloff. I, I kind of like this period of Jeff Franco. You know, this sort of stuff. Um, I think I think that's his best. Crimson, Paul Nashi. Cut and Run. This is the Code Red edition. Uh, I'm still wondering when someone's going to, when they're going to put out the full version with the English. I mean, I did have a VCD, which I should have kept because it had the full English, because it has got the... You know, go, this goes from English to Italian, so who knows if someone would dig out the, the print and find it. Jungle Holocaust, Rogero Diodato. Blazing Magnums, which had a release over here. Breeders, great little film. This is, uh, I think it's Olive Films, if I remember right. They ain't got me glasses on, so I, I can't really tell you. Uh, White Ghost. As it says, uncut version, great fun, this is. Again, this is Code Red. Another great one, Deadly Prey. I haven't got Deadliest Prey, I should really get it. It's a great little film, Raw, if you haven't seen it. It's, uh, yeah, definitely uh, definitely a must-see. Evil Dead, this is the re remake, reboot, whatever you want to say. This has got the extended cut, which I think makes the film a little bit better. Um, rather than the theat theatrical print. Warhead Rex. Yeah, I wouldn't upgrade that. That's going to stay on blue, you know. Um, the Pit. Another great little film if you've never seen this. Well worth tracking down. And well worth your time, to be honest. My mate gave me this. My mate Steve. Got the uh, Apocalypse Now. Got the uh, Heart of Darkness on there and everything. Slime City. The... Uh, the Slime City Massacre and, and Slime City, you you know, just great low-budget, schlocky fun, good stuff. 
Return to Newcomb High, and I need the other one as well. I thought I really liked it. It's just great sleaze and dirt, to be honest. Uh, a, a classic film here, uh, Bad Seed, just black and white goodness, you know. It's just such a great film as well. Sleepless, Argento. I know this one gets a bad rap, but I really, I really like this. I think it's got some good, good moments, good shots in it, um, good gore. Um, but yeah, I, I, I kind of like it. Slither. This is the German one. You know, can you pick this up cheap? I think it was like six quid. <clears throat> Either Within. This film took ages to make and had loads of production trouble and stuff like that. Blood on Satan's Claw, which I know has come out of 4K. I'm just not going to upgrade it. Uh, Trick or Treat. Nice little gem of a movie. Long Good Friday. I've got, for some reason, I've got a DVD of this with the soundtrack. So, one of them's going to have to go. <laughs> Which find the general, again, I know is coming out. Assault, this is a good little film. Kind of like a British jello, shall we say, thriller. If you've never seen it, it's worth tracking down. Towers of Halloween, another little cracking film. This is an Arrow Films release, believe it or not, but if you've never seen it, it is uh, well worth your time. Got some classics here, Greasy Strangler. This could al almost be like uh, a modern day midnight movie, but it's, it's, a, it's a great film. A couple of favorites of mine. I know you're probably thinking, what? But Crank 1 and 2. Um, highly recommended. They're just just great. They could be like again midnight movies, modern midnight movies, and I, I just think they're brilliant. And Statham is just just great. Here. Jason Statham is, is great. Day the Earth Stood Still, absolute classic. Need I say more? Jaws three. This is the three D version, and Jaws two. I quite like Jaws two, and I quite like Jaws three. Seen both on the cinema as well. Uh, Bad Lieutenant, obviously this has got the alterated, you know, the altered soundtrack. I have seen it with the Signifying Rapper soundtrack. I did have it, it's on Dutch VHS, people don't believe that it was on Dutch VHS. Alien 2 on Earth, this is the midnight release. The one and only release that they've done, and it's absolutely fantastic. Death Sentence, this is... Uh, the uncut version, the one of the only uncut versions in the world. Um, this is a, a French edition, um, but it's a it's a cracking little film. You've never seen it. It's a great great little revenge shocker, shall we say? Deathbed, the bed that eats. Literally just watched that yesterday. Insane, just great slice of America. High tension, how tension, whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, just good, you know, probably not going to upgrade it. Last Dragon. Delamore, Delamore. Going to have to get rid of this one because I've just got the 4K. Uh, so there's going to be lots going on the file, especially like this one. I've got this a couple of times. Uh, this is the, the first edition of uh, My Bloody Valentine. Uncut one as well. So we'll be going on some sort of pile. This is a classic from back in the day, the Medusa Touch. I just just remember seeing this so many times. It, it seems like it was always on TV or whatever. Uh, the Exterminator 2 with the poster inside. UK edition uncut. Personal favourite of mine, this is Rolling Thunder. You, I know it's had a reissue here in the UK, but I just really love this film. I just think it's just great. Cabin Fever, this is the director's cut. Um, I, I like it, I like Eli Roth, and I think it's a cracking little movie, to be honest. Green Inferno, another Eli Roth movie. This is the uncut one. Horror Hospital, another little slice of British cinema, well worth your time. Evil Dead Steelbook. This was bought for me as a gift, so I, I don't really sell on gifts. Um, 
Doctor Terror's House of Horrors Steelbook. I know it's just come out on 4K. Bliss. Cracking little movie this is, if you've never seen it. The Mask 3D version. It's released on Kino. Nice little gem. And we've got a couple of Jello, the Jello Triple Creek. That one's been released over here in the UK. And uh, yeah, so that's the German German edition of that. Salem's Lot. This is the long version. I keep putting those up. Thirst. That should be with the Asian stuff. Bunny Killer Thing. Shakma. This is a German one. That's, I don't think that's, that's any on the thing, but. Uh, yeah, Possession, great film from the days of video. And of course, everyone's favorite, Dario Argento's Dracula, yes. Some people call it a shit fest, I call it highly entertaining. Chillerama, another, another great film. Good, good fun, just doesn't take itself too serious, just great fun. This is a good one, kind of like the scanners from the director of Bliss. Yeah, Mind's Eye. And the soundtrack's great as well. We've got a CD soundtrack of this, really good. If you've never seen that, it's kind of like a, inspired by scanners. Really good little film. In fact, I might have to watch it again. And also Almost Human, another, another cracking little movie. <clears throat> this is the Crystal Lake Memories. Got like three or four discs in there, a bonus one. Good night, mummy. I know this has been remade as well, but this is the original one and the best, to be honest. Neon Maniacs, this is a German edition, just great trash. Bone Tomahawk, brilliant film. Um, Craig S. Sala, you gotta love Craig S. Sala, oh, he's just great. Cannibal Apocalypse and another notorious nasty Texas Chainsaw Massacre. That's a two for two for one. Cannibal Apocalypse looks absolutely amazing on Blu-ray. It really, really does. Extra, this has got the all the different versions. And I yes, I haven't got the second type one because I snoozed on it. Nice western there. Hanging of Django. Grand Jewel and Kiyoma. Ah, the classic, the good, the bad and the ugly. Yeah, I know. It's one of my favourites and I should have it on 4K, but just can't, just can't afford to buy stuff. So just leave it as it is. And, you know, it's, it's a brilliant print anyway. Two classic actors, one great film. Van Cleef, Warren Oates. I'm not going to say any more on that. It's just a great film. The Shining, the, the extended cut. Another classic, Once Upon a Time in the West. Leone's one of my favourite directors. I, you know, I can watch his films over and over and over and over and over again. Another version of Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I'm not going to take that off the shelf. Steelbook of Reanimator. Just a personal favourite of mine. One of the greatest horror films of all time, I think. And that's my opinion. Again, along with Return Living Dead, Steelbook. Um, just, just two great films. One great year, 1985. Fucking great year. And Hammer House, a horror TV series, complete TV series. Brilliant. Uh, go down the bottom, we've got some DVDs. Don't answer the phone. Got that on Blu-ray, so that one will probably go. Uh, the Devil Within Her. Nightmares and Damaged Brain, which was just upgraded to 4K, so that one's definitely going to go. Uh, the Forest. Um, just code red, these are code red discs. Caged Men, exploitation movies. Uh, the Cobra Woman. Mixed old bag here. Personal favorite, Devil Times Five. Really like this film. Rituals, which I think I might have on Blu-ray. I can't remember. If so, that'll go. Satan Slave, signed up. Boy. 
McGivery and Norman J. Warren. Obviously, Norman J. Warren is dead now. Force five. Final exam. I'm just not going to upgrade this gear, to be honest. Beyond the door, which I've got on Blu ray. I might have to get rid of that one. It's got a slip on there as well. Who, which is a great little paranoia movie. I think this has just come out on Blu ray, but it's a great, great film. Really good film. Um, Terror Circus, School Girls in Chains, Super Spook, and Butcher Baker Nightmare Maker, which is getting a release from Severin. Can't wait. Stony and the Killer Likes Handy. That's, that's actually my nickname, Stony. So, yeah. Humongous, fully uncut version. Love me deadly. Everyone knows the trailer. Love me deadly. Oh, the brute corpse. Ah, oh, this is a great little exploitation gem. The police connection. You never seen this? Well worth your time. Track it down. Uh, it's the violent theatrical cut. It's just it's just a great little film, let me tell you. It's a great one. Um Black Candles. Uh, I can't even see the other one. Evil Eye. Yeah, Black Candles I've got on Blu-ray and even I'm keeping it because it's got Evil Eye on there. Um, the Carpenter. I, I love this. Wings House are just absolutely mental in it. Night of the Demon. I'm gonna have to get rid of this one because um I've got I've got the Blu-ra. The Blu-ra of it. The Blu-ra. The Blu-ra. Weekend Murders, nice little jello. The strangeness, cracking little movie, the strangeness. It's Revenge, that's a that's a gem. Joan Collins is a great little movie. Nice little twist ending. You've got some of my personal favourites here. Girly, which is also called... Uh, it's got the on-screen title of Nanny, Mummy, Sunny, Girly. Great, great, great movie. Again, Goodbye Gemini. Another classic British film. Pets, which I know has had a Blu-ray release. Not going to upgrade it. Alley Cat, which I know is on Blu-ray. Not going to upgrade that even. No point. Girls on the Road. Uh, teenage Hitchhikers, which I know is on Arrow. Mortuary. Slithis. I really like Slithis. It's just a great monster movie. Point of Terror. That's going to have to go for sale because I've got a Blu-ray of that. I kind of like it. God's Bloody Acre and The Tomcats. Exploitation double feature. Messiah of Evil. that go on the for sale pile. Uh, Ghost Keeper. 1900, which is the two discer full version. Um, the Coleman uh, documentary, rest in peace. And last but not least, signed up by the director and the actor, Long Pigs. Remember Long Pigs? Yeah, great little film. Anyway, whatever happened to what's his face? I can't even remember his fucking name. Who? Anyway, anyway, thanks a lot for watching, tuning in subscribing yeah I'm, i've got two more racks to go in here and then i'm done in the bedroom and then it'll be back to the den of filth so i'm gonna put these away anyway thanks a lot for watching see you all next time see you at horicon if you're going to horicon take it easy